Welcome to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. Today, we're with Chris Russo, the president of the Historical Society of the Green Hills Community. Today, she's going to tell us all about the Green Hills Community Center, which also used to be a school. Come on in, we'll show you around. Thanks so much, Chris, for meeting with us today. We My appreciate pleasure. it. My pleasure. Thank you. So we're inside of the community center now. What can you tell us about this place? This was the original building for the school in the community. It wasn't ready in 1938 in April when all the families moved in, mm -hmm. but it was ready in September for the first school year. The mm -hmm. first graduating class had four members. Oh, wow. But um, families were very encouraged in Green Hills, and the, the population grew rapidly for the school. Mm -hmm. It was... Um, a state-of-the-art school when it opened. It had been built by the government and it mm -hmm. was furnished by the government. Mm -hmm. The workshop had stated everyone who's, who lived here signed up for classes in the workshop mm -hmm. um, because it had state-of-the-art wood, woodworking equipment. Mm -hmm. The domestic engineering department had five different rooms for the girls to decorate and learn to move furniture mm -hmm. and arrange, arrange things. It had a living room and a kitchen and a bedroom and a bathroom and a dining room that the girls could work with. Okay. Um, the, there was a 5,000 volume library mm. and uh, in the afternoon, all, after the, everybody went home from school, it would turn into an adult education facility mm -hmm. and all the residents could have any take any course they wanted to mm -hmm. for free okay. and the books were furnished by the government so the young families that moved here mm -hmm. were trying to get ahead could come and take economics or accounting or secretarial courses mm -hmm. and um, that really helped the families grow too as as the rest of the village grew okay and when was the last graduating class here? Um, the last graduating class was in 1991, I believe. Okay, yeah. And, and then they moved to Forest Park, and became part of the Winton Woods Forest Park system. Okay, and so what takes place in the community center now? Now there are still basketball teams that practice in the gymnasium. Mm -hmm. There are um, adult classes and there are also magnet classes for the school system as well as a lot of school administrative offices. Okay, nice. And so is it open every day during the week or just certain days during the week? No, it's open every day. It's, wow. a, it's still pretty busy build, building. Okay, wow. Well, is there anything else that you want us to know about this building? Well, um, let, let me show you around a little. and That and sounds see great. Some, okay. And we'd love to. Great. Thanks. All right, so Chris, tell us about where we are right now. All right, we're in the center. This is the auditorium mm -hmm. of the, the um, community building. Mm -hmm. It was used for churches. Mm -hmm. um, the there were two services on Sunday, the Catholic service and then the ecumenical service mm -hmm. for the community. Mm -hmm. There was a rolling altar that they'd roll in and out on the stage and, mm -hmm. and do the services up there. Okay. There was... Um, Besides all the classes that happened at night, there were special events. There was fights. Um, they had uh, Floyd Patterson, a young man, fought here. And we, there were also um, dances, lots of dances. They used to have scrap drives for the, in, during World War II, and you'd bring a bunch of metal, and then you'd get in to see the movie free. Oh, okay. Or tires, or whatever yeah, else uh -huh. they were re recycling then. And um, Rosemary Clooney sang here. She and her sister used to visit their aunt during the summers. And she first sang with the Petering Band, um, which was the local high school band. So okay. she sang on the stage. Wow. Um, it was really a thriving, rolling place when it was, when it was in its glory. There's a lot of history that took place in this room. Yes, wow. Is. Yes, and then you talked about how in later years it became a place for Boy Scouts to meet here, Cub Scouts, different community events would be held here. Because we see that it's a gym yes. also. Yeah, yeah. Wow. A lot of the community games were held here. There's a ball relief over the stage that was done by Robert Ashley, and he was an artist from Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. And later taught in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a uh, bas relief of working men. 
Thanks so much for tuning in to today's edition of History in Your Own Backyard. Today, Chris Russo taught us all about the Green Hills Community Center, and we learned so much about it. Remember, travel, travel slowly and, and stop, stop often. often. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>